Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 10 of Miranda and Lisa's fun Christmas series, Christmas Memories. And today is day 10 already of the 12 day series and today's prompt was sweets. Now, you may have seen a couple of weeks ago on one of the Sketch Sundays, 30 Days of Sketches Revisited, Revisited, that I had created a layout with some panettone and other types of desserts to go into my generic album. And this will sort of complete that series in my album. I have uh, a layout about shortbreads, I really should probably do another layout, probably about trifle, which was something that uh, I used to make um, in during the time that I was married. Although in the, the layout you may have seen a couple of weeks ago, I did talk about mince pies and that kind of thing. So we'll see. But this layout will go into, as I just mentioned, my generic album. It's all about desserts, and it's about finding, again, one of my childhood traditions, because les bûches de Noël, or Yule Logs, are a very traditional uh, French-Canadian Christmas dessert, which evidently comes from uh, France. They were made very, very differently to the types of things uh, that we do today at... Um, our little Italian gourmet food shop and bakery. But I really wanted to get this in there. This is a uh, photo of one of this year's logs and it was a beautifully, beautifully mounted photo of a limoncello, a vanilla lemon log, which is just, just, just delicious. So um, I used some white cardstock and I mounted that on a sort of mossy green type cardstock here on the back. I inked my edges and I've been enjoying this wider, messier type of inking that I stole uh, from my lovely friend, Christina. She tends to ink this way fairly, fairly often and I do like the effect. So I did that. And then on the background, I dug out my lovely Paige Evans. This is definitely one of my favorite um, stencils and I and I just love the different sizes of stars the spacing it's just perfection to me and my nouveau glacier paste in what is this green envy and just in three spots on the background I did a little bit of stenciling it's been a while hasn't it since I've done stenciling and it's something I so 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 enjoy I don't know why it's been a little bit since I've done some stenciling with paste anyway um, on the layout you saw last week, I did some stenciling, but just with some inking. Anyway, so I got that down. Then I went into my Winter Memories collection from Photoplay, and just this one lovely little piece here from the Coco Vanilla Merry and Bright. And I created just a fun, a little bit of a pleasing design to my eye. Uh, this was just sort of using, um the pieces in the sizes that we they were and trying to arrange them in in a way that was pleasing to me so this is sort of the design that i got a rectangular piece one here and two little pieces here that sort of go over the joint and give some different levels i kind of like that step idea i do that quite often so i got that down mounted my photo up on foam with just the one mat in this lovely navy paper put that across um, the joins of the paper. Uh, just the teensiest bit askew. And I got these gorgeous, gorgeous stars out, these felt stars that I got in my Redefined Creative Advent calendar this year. And they are just gorgeous. I've popped them up on foam. And I love that sort of little diagonal effect here that really brings you right in to the photo. And I... I got the idea watching Kelly, Kelly Oblak on her live stream on Friday night and she got them out and I said, oh, that's true. I really, really want to use those. And I was sort of doing this layout at the time. So I quickly went to put them on the layout so that I wouldn't forget a sticker 
from uh, the Winter Memories collection, Yule Logs, which is simply the photo here. And then I went to get a couple of some enamel star shapes. Uh, I think these were from, are they from? Yes, I think they're from a Chamel collection and I put dotted those around. And then in each of those clusters, I sort of went with three different things because here I was a little bit lazy and really I didn't feel like twine uh, or thread was going to look good here or fall in a way that would please me. So I just went and got one of these uh, pearls that I still had in my stash and I put that there. So once I had that there and I had the little stars, I felt like I wanted to get a cluster with those two items in. But as you know, I always like to work in threes and many of us do. Uh, so then I went to get my heritage, vintage, I keep calling them heritage, vintage Nouveau drops in post box red. And therefore I did some stars, some of these little pearls and the Nouveau drops in a few different areas to give myself a little bit of extra interest. And here I just put, since I've been working with Joey at the bakery, I am back to my childhood tradition of bouche. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about all the desserts over the times and the traditions uh, when I do a little bit of an insert. So I'm just putting a few words on each of the layouts and I will make an insert to finish off that portion of the generic album. So there you go. That is me for day 10 of Christmas Memories. Of course, Miranda and Lisa have been here every, every single day. I think Janet as well from Galaxy Girl Creations has made it every day. I think Ronnie might have as well and Rebecca. So there are quite a few that are doing it every single day. And then many others that are doing like me that are doing as many um, as they can. And I think by the time we're done, I will have managed six out of the 12 days, which I'm quite quite happy for. So thank you, Miranda and Lisa, for creating this fun, fun, fun series and for coming over into the uh, Scrappy Inspiration YouTube and Instagram hop group and inviting us all to play along with you. And I will be back here on day 12 with my final layout for this lovely series. I hope you are all well. Stay safe, and I hope you are having a lovely scrappy day if you are able to scrap. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye for now.